The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to show how to change uh, modes of angles in, uh, in some common scientific calculators. I, I was able to dig up uh, six different calculators here. I've got uh, three Texas Instrument ones, uh, two different Canon ones, and uh, a sharp one on the end here. So uh, the example I'm going to start with is I'm going to evaluate the sine of 32 degrees there. And in these calculators, there's two different kinds. Uh, I don't mean brands. Uh, there's ones with what's called DAL logic, and these first three have that. I'll show you what that looks like. And then the, uh, the last three are non-DAL logic ones. And what DAL logic means is that you enter things or type things in the calculator just like you would write them. So if I want to evaluate the sine of 32 degrees, I'm going to type it just as sine of 32 degrees. So this first one here, so uh, let's turn the calculator on. And so first of all, the mode. So notice that, and I'm going to zoom in, you can see the D there. So this one's in degrees. So right now, now if I scroll out a little bit, so if I hit the mode, a lot of them there's a mode that you have to go in and maybe you have to search around a little bit. This one I just arrow over and there's my degrees, radians, gradients. So if I wanted it in, uh, let's say in uh, rads, I could just hit 2 here. And so if we scroll in a little bit, see that's an R. So I want it to be in, uh, in degrees, so we'll go back mode over here, and I'm going to press 1, so I'm in degrees again. So I want to evaluate the sine of 32 degrees. So here's my 32, hit enter, and I get 0.5299. So I typed it in sine 32 just like you would write it. There's the th sine 32 up there. So this Texas Instrument one, so uh, let's uh, turn the calculator on first. So this one, so here's the mode, and when I go into mode, there's no searching around. There's my degrees, radians, gradients right at the top. So I could, I could scroll over, let's say I wanted to be in, in grad, in gradients, and I'm just going to hit the uh, enter here, and then second quit to get out of the mode. So notice, I'll zoom in a little bit here, that says grad right at the top there, so it's in gradients. So I want to be in degrees. So now my cursor is flashing on degrees, so all I really have to do now is just hit the enter and second quit to get out of the mode, and I'm back in degrees. So let's do that sine of 32 degrees now. So sine 32, enter, and there's the 0.5299 number again. On to the, the next one, the next Texas Instrument one. So let's uh, turn it on. And so you can see uh, right there, it's in degrees right now. So if I press, see there's a, often you find this DRG function. So if I hit that, so there's only one menu for that one. I can choose degrees, radians, gradients. So I can, if I scroll over, hit enter there, be in, in rads, that would be grads, and of course back to degrees. So I'm just going to hit equals to get out of that, and so it's in degrees. So let's type in sine 32. Oh, now I didn't close the bracket over here. It still works the same as if I had entered the bracket. So there's my 0.5299 number. Uh, so this Canon one here. So let's um, turn it on. And you can see on the top left hand there where it says DEG. So uh, now this one has another DRG, so if I hit that, see it's just scrolling back and forth between degrees, radians, gradients, and then back to degrees again. So I'll leave in degrees, and we're going to find the sine. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I did that on purpose. Um, when I press the sine, nothing happened, seemingly. Uh, what I've actually done is I've actually taken the sine of zero. The sine of zero is zero. So in these calculators, the non-DAL DAL logic ones, you actually enter the angle, the 32 degrees, and then hit the sign. So there's my 0.5299 number. So the non-DAL logic ones, you have to enter the angle first. So here's another Texas Instrument one. Okay, so there's my, it's in degrees right now. Uh, there's my, uh, again, it'll just scroll back and forth. This one works uh, the same way as the last one, just back and forth between each of those. So back in degrees. 
Uh, so again, if I hit sign, uh, nothing seems to happen. I, I just did the sign of zero, zero. So let's go 32, hit sign. Now notice I don't have to hit the equal sign, and the same thing over here. If you just go 32 and sign, you get that 0.5299 number. You do not have, need to hit the equal sign after the, uh, that, the keystroke that, that gets the uh, sign. Uh, sharp one on the end here, uh, again, it's in degrees. So there's the DRG, and again, this is another one that just scrolls back and forth between degrees, radians, and gradients. So it's degrees now. So again, if I hit sign, uh, nothing happened, no sign. This is a non-DAL logic one. So 32 and sign, so there's my 0.5299 number. So let's clear each of these. And so uh, I'm going to show the uh, the inverse cos. This uh, I've got cosine of some angle is 0.3907. I want to find the angle. So the way you evaluate that, you take what's called the inverse cosine or arc cosine of that 0.3907 number. Okay. Now this is a different example. It's not related to the sine of 32 degrees. Okay. So this is what we're entering the calculator to find. Oh, what angle is the cosine 0.3907? So back to the uh, this first DAL logic one. So I want the inverse cosines. Here's the sine cos tan. And if we scroll, if we zoom in a bit, see there, there's the inverse cosine right above the cosine. Notice it's kind of an orangey. That's the, we get that function by hitting shift first. So shift that. So there's my inverse cosine or arc cosine. And we would uh, now type in that uh, point three, nine, zero, seven number, and we have to equals in the uh, DA logic ones. And so there's, oh, I typed the wrong number a little bit here. Not exact. Point three, nine, zero, seven. There, should be right almost exactly on 67 degrees. The Texas Instrument one, so second, Cosine, again, see that's sort of a greeny, that's the second function, and 0 0.3907, I'll close my bracket this time, and there's my 67 degrees. Last DAL logic one, so uh, again, here's my sine cos tan, so I want this uh, inverse cosine, so that's the second function, so there's my inverse cosine, 0 0.3907, close bracket, there's my 67 degrees. So these ones, the non-DAL logic ones, you're going to enter the decimal first, just like we did at 32 degrees before we hit the sign. So 0 0.3907. And I want the inverse cosine, so second cos. Now again, notice that I did not have to hit the equal sign, and there's my 67 degrees. So this one, uh, second or sorry, I need to, the decimal first, point 0.3, whoops, clear. So we'll type in that point 0.3907, and we go second cosine, there's my 67 degrees, and sharp, same idea, point 0.3907, and uh, again, I want the inverse cosine, so second function, cosine, and there's my 67 degrees. And that's the end of the tutorial.